There are some weapons that are just made for destroying 64 player lobbies and the Executioner Axe is one of those. While perhaps not the best weapon for competing at a high level of dueling, the ability to swing through multiple enemies with extremely high damage makes the Executioner Axe ideal for winning 1vx fights. The Executioner Axe has just enough speed to not feel too slow to me, and it also has a very decent reach, which allows you to bait players with shorter weapons. I'm Strider the Champ, and today I will be teaching you some strategies on how to use the Executioner Axe effectively with a quick tutorial, followed by some gameplay where I point out these techniques being utilized. Let's start by looking at the damage model on the Executioner Axe. We do a base 50 damage on a slash, 60 on an overhead, and only 30 on a stab. And then if we hold down our input for a heavy attack, we up those numbers to 70 on both slashes and overhead strikes, and 50 on a stab. Now the Executioner Axe also does bonus damage against footmen and knights, which ups the overhead and slash damage to a whopping 87 on the most common class, the knight. So now knowing that this weapon is strong in slashing and overheads, we want to focus our gameplay around landing these types of strikes as much as possible. So let's start off by first talking about fainting combinations that work extremely well with the Executioner Axe. Let's start off with the stab to overhead. This is a very difficult feint for players to read and is one of my most commonly used feints. I talk about this in many of my videos. Then we have the classic slash to slash combination, which also works well with the Executioner Axe, but it's probably the most used feint in the game, and players are very used to it, so you need to be really disciplined with how you do it if you want to have success. If you just spam slash to slash as fast as you can, it won't work that often against a decent player. You want to wait until the Executioner windup is almost done before feinting. You can do this really late in the windup, and this disciplined feint will often throw your opponents off. And now lastly, I want to point out my absolute favorite feint with this weapon, and that's the overhead to overhead. You perform this by holding down the alt key on your second overhead strike. And such a small minority of the player base uses this feint that it works at an absolutely ridiculous rate. And what's so tricky about it is the axe just stays up in the air for a really, really long time. And players, they don't know how to react. You can even throw in a heavy attack on the second overhead and it feels like the weapon just stays up in the air for an eternity. I actually went into game just to record how far I could push basically only using this feint with the Executioner uh, Axe in a public lobby. And here are some quick clips, but it was, it was pretty ridiculous how many times I hit the same players with the same feint two to three times in a row. Now before we get into gameplay, I want to touch on some basic tips for combat with the Executioner Axe. And firstly, this weapon is the king of 1vx decapitations. Those kind of moments where you throw one slash and just take off the heads of three enemies. You want to get into the habit of what I like to call swinging through your target. This is where you don't stop your strike when you first make contact, but follow through in wide looping motions to hit multiple enemies. Your swings can travel an extremely far distance and you can hit opponents who are even behind you. The Executioner Axe also has pretty long range and you can use the dodge back mechanic to bait out attacks from shorter weapons. After your opponent blocks your strike, immediately dodge back and then punish them with an overhead when they miss. Crouching into an overhead also has a surprisingly long range to it. And while it might not be the strongest of attacks, do not be afraid to break your pattern by throwing a stab in here and there, especially in duels where opponents are conditioned to not expect you to use your weakest attack. Even while it's only 30 damage, sometimes this works great on a bloody opponent who's expecting you to faint and tries to gamble your strike. Now before we check out a quick and dominant win with the Executioner Axe, remember to become an angel by subscribing. Now enjoy the gameplay. I will be pointing out successful tactics as they happen.
Not happening. Ha <laughs> ha! 